Hey there you, today we're going to go through the Build a Battle Station app project. It's about building a project management app to construct a galactic battle station. No code required. You can find it through trailhead.salesforce.com. Just search for battle station app in the search bar. So let's get started. Create the battle station app. about uh, 2 hours 30 minutes. Uh, the estimate is usually fairly uh, on the low end side actually. I usually take more time so I will probably split this up into multiple videos. Um, you can find the links to the other videos in the description in case they don't show in the related videos on the right. Okay, so let's get started. Create the Battle Station app. Not so long ago in a galaxy not so far away. It's a dark time for your company. Your recent multi gazillion dollar project to build and deploy an orbiting battle station has gone awry. On its maiden voyage, a shabby group of troublemakers managed to blow it up with a lucky shot to an exhaust port. Of all places, the story has its that even took the shot with his eyes closed. To say that morale is low at your company is an understatement. Everybody dressed in black and gray now, is afraid to gather around the water cooler and co-workers are getting choked out by your boss left and right. Last week your boss called you into his cubicle and assigned you to a new task. Build a new battle station to defeat this band of motley rebel rousers, but this time do it right. On time, on budget and with no exposed exhaust ports or else. Your primary goals are to construct the battle station and live longer than your predecessor. You decided to manage your project in the cloud with Salesforce. This way everyone in your team can collaborate, be successful and stay alive. The last thing you want is to receive an email from your boss with the subject, you have failed me for the last time. Introduction. In this project you will learn how to build an application on the Salesforce platform from start to finish without writing any code. If you are new to the Salesforce platform, the goal is to introduce you to the basics of app building. It's fun, easy and you won't leave you short of breath. You need a free trailer at Playground or a developer edition org to complete this project. You can find it at the bottom of the page, click launch to open the new Playground in a new browser tab, login required. So let's do this real quick. Actually I'm gonna create a new Playground just for this project and I recommend that you do the same just so there will be like no conflicts. I don't know how intricate this is but generally speaking if you have done other uh, Salesforce uh, modules and projects before there is probably stuff in there that can interfere with this project like permission sets whatever. Uh, it's best just to create a new one. So I'm just gonna pause this real quick, create a new one. It's gonna take like a minute and then I'm gonna be back. Alright, so I just uh, created a new playground, changed the name through um, the manage my hands on org menu. And now I'm ready to launch it. So let's get started here. Where did we stop? You will build a super awesome project management app that allows users to manage the resources and supplies used to build a battle station. These same point and click skills are applicable to building almost anything on the Salesforce platform. So in case you were scared that there will be a lot of like difficult programming and that kind of stuff, I've gone through, I've gone through most um, of the uh, development uh, certification trail already, and honestly, most is point and click or like simple logic. Um, so it's not like super programming heavy. Here is what you will be doing. Create the app and a data model for the application. 
The simple application requires only a few custom objects with a small number of fields. Modify the user interface on the browser and on the Salesforce mobile app using page layouts, comeback layouts and global actions. Implement business logic using formulas, validation rules and a process builder. Build reports and dashboards to track the stages of supplies and analyze how well the company manages resources. Let's get started. This app isn't going to build itself. Create the app Battle Station Construction app. Navigate to the setup. If you have already logged in, yes, I did. I'll log in to the trailhead. Then launch your trailhead playground by clicking launch at the bottom of the page. That's when it's done. Make sure to switch to Lightning Experience. Oh, it's already done by default. I think they're even discontinuing Classic. Or they at least it's not enabled anymore by default, like in the new Salesforce instances. In your trailer playground, click the gear icon and click setup. Okay, let's do this. Before we move further with creating an app, let's create the object battle station. So let's switch into a split screen view. So it's going to be easier to do to copy everything here. Just a second. All right, back in split screen. So we're going to go through the object manager. The standards go to item. In case you have gone through other modules and projects before. And then we are going to create the custom object definition page and we will create the following object. Battle station, for battle stations, record name, battle station name. Create a custom tab, click the home tab, enter tabs and the quick find and select tabs. Okay, let's do this. Tabs. Custom object tabs, click new. Object, select battle station. Tap style, any icon. Let's choose this one, I like this color. Tap style, leave all defaults as this, click next, next, save. Now we need to enable feed tracking for the battle station object from setup and feed. Click on battle station and check the enable feed object. Enable feature tracking for objects so that users can follow records of that object type. Select fields to track so users can see feed updates when those fields are changed on the records they follow. So doesn't really make much sense to me, but I guess when we see it in action, it will make more sense. Never used this before. And check here, station name and owner. In the lower one, apparently we aren't supposed to 
select. So yeah, a bit more explanation why we are doing this would be helpful. Never used this before. Follow records of that object. I'm not really sure what they mean by follow, but anyway, let's see. Create the battle station construction app from the setup entry app manager. Click the new lightning app and your battle station construction. Standard navigation selected and then click next, click next, available items. Select battle stations, reports, dashboards. Okay, here we are not supposed to select anything. Here neither. Available items, battle station report. System and and that's it. So a bit more explanation why we are doing stuff would definitely be helpful, but I hope it will make sense along the way. Verify the changes. Click the app launcher and select the battle station. Do this, open this in the new tab. For some reason this is open. this isn't loading. Battle station. Just have recently viewed reports dashboard. Mm, that makes sense. To the app, app launcher displays available app. App name displays the current selected app. That's correct. Navigation menu displays a tab available inside the app. Okay. So these are the tabs we made available. Reports dashboard. And we made it available to us as the admin. So let's very first step to earn a hundred points. 